Well, hello, Christine. I think we are live. Do you see us? Are we up on your iPad, D? Mm -mm. No, we're not. Why not? Well, because sometimes it takes that same ah, lag. It takes there we go. Now we are. See, we have about a 16 to 18 second lag today. Mm -hmm. That lets you know. Hi, Christine. Thank you for coming. You are our lady in waiting. <laughs> So what I like to do is in mind that um, there may be people viewing this later on as a replay. I want to welcome you all to my channel. I'm Martha, Vintage Conversation. And this is my regular, semi-regular Tuesday live sale. Today I'm fortunate enough to have a guest. And um, so I think what I'll, I'll, I'll do is... Hi, uh, Mickey. Oh, no, oh, Mickey. I did it again. Hi, Helen. I was thinking of Mickey because earlier Mickey posted that she was going on a trip to Oregon. So I, I've had Mickey on my mind today. She's been traveling. New England Thrifter is, is our Miss Helen Booty. <clears throat> and Side Street Market, of course, is Christine. So what we were doing is I was going to give Dee an opportunity to introduce herself tell us a little bit about what she does and her <laughs> channel and she's an eBay seller so she can tell us a little bit about that let me see if I can get her up here there we go well first off my name is Dee and my um, YouTube channel is the southern vintage picker I think it's all one word but I'm not sure about that but either way you'll find it it's the Southern Vintage Picker with spaces. I remember now. Um, I was telling Chris, uh, I was telling Martha right before we came on live that I'm actually very, very shy. And the reason I started the eBay channel, I mean the YouTube channel, was kind of to take me out of my comfort zone. So you might see some of my shyness in this. I can't help it. Um, I work on it all the time, but I'm always going to be a shy person. Anyway, that's why I do YouTube videos. I do. Um, I have been doing one, three a week, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Um, but we are going to be watching my grandson all summer long. So I'm going to cut it down to Mondays and Fridays on Monday. I kind of do a haul video and just show you what I found over the past weekend. And then on Fridays, I show you what's sold and I try really hard on the sold it videos to tell you, you know, how much I paid for it, what I sold it for, how long it took to sell. Um, my goal with that one is more, I know when I first started doing eBay, I would watch these, I would watch all these YouTubers and, they sold huge amounts of stuff, you know, and it was kind of depressing because um, there was no way I was going to sell that much. So oh. my goal with the YouTube channel was more to be a little relatable to the people that were kind of just more part time like I was that were just starting out. Um, and so maybe they could see that, you know, these are some kind of things that they could pick up, too, or maybe things they shouldn't pick up. Um, I love all the vintage items. That's that's what I'm, I, I, I absolutely love. But as far as what do I pick up and what do I sell on eBay, I'll just sell just about anything if I can make some money on it. I sold rat poison. I've sold um, <laughs> vacuum cleaner bags. I've sold um, vintage nylons. And then, of course, all the, all the vintage items that I like so well. <laughs> oh, so my goodness. If you're not already subscribed to me on YouTube, I'd sure love it. Uh, I'll take a minute to plug my, my, my channel there and say if, if you would subscribe to me on YouTube, the Southern Vintage Picker, I'd really appreciate it. And then back to you, Martha. Well, thank you, Dee. Yes, everybody, make sure you are subscribed to Dee and me if you mm -hmm. aren't already. And check out Dee's um, eBay uh, store as well. I think I put that in the description. If I didn't, I will after the video. I meant to. But both of our emails are in the um description for in case you buy anything as well as scrolling below the screen so let's see we've had some wonderful people join in today let's see uh, Helen Booty we said hello and Michelle Lee welcome um, Linda Punky is here hi Maria California thrifter Rose Spangenberg thank you for coming Rose I have an elephant today <laughs> And let's see, there is Miss Sabrina from Simon Says Let's Make a Deal. And let's see, oh, there's uh, Trisha from Sandy Auto. Hello, hello. Thank you all for coming in today. 
Let's see. Nine people here already. Good. Y'all are on the ball. Y'all must have been waiting on us. We appreciate that. Well, so what we will do. Yay, elephant. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what we will do is we will go ahead and get started. And when we have finished showing you our items, then anything that did not sell, we will kind of go over and do a quick recap so that anybody who came in late and didn't get the opportunity to see them will be able to see them then and possibly purchase that sort of thing. Lurking is fine. Hi, Belinda. I hope you're doing well today. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, since Dee is my guest, I am going to invite her to go first. Yay! <laughs> Take it away, Miss Dee. I sure will. I'm going to start with um, an adorable little sachet girl. She is made by um, Andy Richards, and she's signed on the bottom. Of course, made in Japan. She's kind of a blonde-haired little girl with a pink bow in her hair. And then what I thought was interesting about her is she's not all ceramic. Her dress is actually lace. And I'm sure at one time she had sachet because you can almost smell your grandma when you put her up to your nose. Uh, and she's about four inches tall. And so she's just a cute little sachet girl. She's $5. And she is number 18. So there you have her, the little cute grandma smelling sachet girl. Again, she is $5. And she's number 18. Thank you, Dee. Okay. My first item today is a recent purchase for me, and I've never purchased these before, so I don't know if you guys are going to like it, but I'll, I'll, I'll let you be the judge of that. This is my first Susan Paley figure. Usually you see them in a vase, but I saw this spoon rest, and it's actually the first time I've seen the spoon rest for the Susan Paley. She's so cute. Isn't she cute? She's all in pink with green accents, and I love pink and green together. Let's see. Oh, I always have trouble with that camera. Yeah, I love the pink and green together. And in fact, I got to looking at her, and if she had green eyes, who would she look like? This she girl. Does. She does. She does. She got the same haircut as me. <laughs> she absolutely does. The chubby cheeks and everything. So anyway, this is Nina. And Nina is $12, number 64, for the Susan Paley Spoon Rest. $12, number 64. Hi, Tammy. Thank you for showing up. <laughs> All right. My next item, I don't um, know everybody in the chat as well as you do, so I kind of just picked some items, uh, tried to go with some different, a variety of items, I guess. So I'm not sure if anybody likes pottery, but I absolutely love Weller pottery. And I think this is just a beautiful vase. It's a beautiful Weller vase with what I want to say is probably a gardenia on it, but I'm not absolutely sure. And it's got a light turquoise, uh, almost a maybe more of a mint green kind of glaze. I'm not sure. It's a uh, very light green though. And it is of course signed Weller on the bottom. It's just a gorgeous piece. It's um, it's about six and a half inches tall. At the top, it's the diameter is four inches, and at the base, the diameter is three inches. Um, and anyway, this really pretty little Weller vase is seven dollars, and it's number four. So, as I said, it's about seven inches tall with the pretty white flower on the front, and it is seven dollars, and it's number four. Okay, thank you. I, I forgot to mention, and let me do this now, that because of the lag, we may switch screens before uh, someone has purchased the item, and you will be recognized when that seller comes back up on the screen again. So, hi, Chicago lady, Jeannie. Good to see you today. 
So my next item for you is something new to me, may not be new to you. This is the this is Mexican pottery. This is wonderful. This is from the Don, you know, and I thought it was something else when I saw it and I, and I researched it better. This is Donna Rosa pottery. Oh. It is from Oaxaca in Mexico. It is a black pottery. It is signed by the artist. And it is carved. It is carved pottery. It is just, it's so unique. I have not seen it. If you are a Mexican pottery lover, you may want to consider looking into this type of pottery to add to your collection, to round it out. Beautiful pieces, beautiful pieces. She is about five and a half inches tall. She is weighty, not like, she's not chubby, but you know, she's about nine ounces on her own. So she's not, you know, she's not a skinny mini. And she is signed on the bottom, Donna Rosa, Oaxaca, Mexico, from the Oaxacan region in Mexico. And she is, if I can get my card for you, come here. She is $16, number 82. $16, number 82, for the Donna Rosa Pottery from Oaxaca, Mexico. <coughs> and I noticed that Simon says, let's make a deal. Uh, Martha, can you tell me what her name was? Because I don't know it. Sabrina. Sabrina. Sabrina picked up the Weller vase. So thank you very much, Serena. Sabrina. I really appreciate that. Um, my next item is a personal favorite for me, just because I love the glaze. It is a, let's see if I can get, there we go. It is an adorable blue glazed planter. It is not signed, so I don't know who it's made by. Really can't even tell you for sure that it's vintage. I just know it's a really cute cat planter. Now, I will tell you that the poor little kitty was running through the house and he fell and, and he stubbed his neck, his little chin. But if you have it on your table, like you're going to put, put a plant in it, it actually rests right there. So it's never going to show. And let's, let me see how big he is. He is 10, 10 inches long. So he's kind of long, but he's only about three, three and a half inches high. And he has just that great blue and white speckled um glaze on him and he is eight dollars and he is number 20. so a good price i know isn't he a cute little kitty cat too i just love planters i love plants of all kinds so again the blue and white speckled glaze cat with the boo-boo on his chin that you'll is, never see right is eight dollars and he is number 20. Thank you. All right. I have something fun. It is, it's not that vintage. I couldn't even tell you. I couldn't even tell you, but it's so cute. Look, tiki salt and pepper shakers. Aren't they darling? They're about four and a half inches tall. One is a lime green and one is a purple. They are just I think it's Creative Arts is who makes these, as I recall. But they're they're in great shape. They have stoppers. They're new enough that you can you can use these guys without any worries. You know, sometimes with our older ones, we don't like to use them because um, because they're old. They may be fragile. They don't always have stoppers. You're not sure of their how sanitary they are, so we don't always use them. These guys you can use. They are so cute. They are $8, number 71, for the TE salt and pepper shakers. $8, number 71, to have a little tiki fun at your house. And, uh, Tammy said she needs a tiki bar. We all need a tiki bar. Tammy, where are you going to put a tiki bar? <laughs> I don't care where she puts it. We all need one. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, my next item is actually a set of three. Um, and they are three little home co bunnies and they're all in different positions. This little guy is just kind of laying down. 
they remind I, I think i picked them up because they remind me of we have a bunny um we have a a, a green space behind our house and we have a bunny that comes over every night and visit us for some reason he likes the grass in our yard nice but anyway i think that's why i picked these up but then the second one is sitting up with his little feet in front of him his pink ears and then the third one is laying down and it almost looks like he's waiting on you to tickle his tummy he lays down like this and they are all um, they all still have their little home coast stickers on them uh so they're not by any means uh antique but they're definitely little vintage items mm -hmm. and the they're the tallest one i didn't measure them all but the tallest one is about four inches high if that's important to you and they all have the same brown glaze with the little pink ears and the little white spots on their feet um and so the set of three it's twelve dollars and it's number two so twelve dollars for the set of three home co bunnies and I can't hold three at one time. <laughs> you don't have a third hand? I don't have a third hand, but the set that of- That would be handy. <laughs> the set of three little home co bunnies is $12 and it's number two. I like those. Oh, look at me. I was so busy looking at your bunnies. I didn't even- That's the way I was with your tiki's. I love tiki stuff. <laughs> Sometimes I get involved. I get too involved. All right. Today we have a multi-glazed ceramic polar bear. He just looks like sedimentary rock to me, like he carved into the rock, you know. You can just count his rings and see how old he is. But he's got beautiful brown and cream and dark green and light green. He's just, oh, he's just so gorgeous. Eyes, ears, everybody's in good shape. I think he has a little rough patch on his ear that I can feel. You can't really see it. You can just kind of feel it. He is not marked. He is pretty solid feeling. But I love this glaze. This glaze has such great movement. And it's very spring-like, so, and there we go. It, it, the way he sits in my hand does not look like the way that he should be on the screen. So, anyway, this polar bear is $10, number 60. It's beautiful. $10, number 60 for the polar bear if you are interested in adding him to your zoo collection. And Belinda picked up the Home Co Bunnies. So thank you, Belinda. I hope you enjoy them as much as I do. Um, I, I love having these little items in my collection for the time that they pass through my house. I get so much pleasure out of them and I love passing them on to somebody else that I think is going to enjoy them. Um, and I buy things because of memories. I can't help it. This little soap dish uh, or sponge holder my mother had one that sat in her kitchen. She had a bay window outside of her sink and it sat there for, I know it had to have been 30 years. Now hers was more realistic looking and I think it actually might've even been a frog, but that doesn't matter. This <laughs> just made me think of mom as soon as I saw it and it is adorable. It's got big blue eyes and then the gold frosting back here on his glazing. I mean, I think these were probably, well, this has a little bit of a tag left and it might have been Gift Co Incorporated. So I, if I remember correctly from when the time my mom got hers, I would say these were sold about the 1970s. Seems like that's how long my mom had her. Um, I'm trying to remember, he's got a little, I think he's got a boo-boo right here. I'm, I don't think you'll ever be able to see it, but you can feel it. So he does have a boo-boo right there, and I apologize, but you know how these vintage items are. They're, that's, I mean, they're old like me. They're not perfect anymore. That's correct. <laughs> he is $6, and he is number 17. So the little goldfish, I guess? I don't know what kind of fish he is. It looks like a goldfish. Yeah, the little goldfish sponge holder is $6, and he's number 17. Thank you, Michelle, for 
requesting those thumbs up. We do appreciate that. It does help us out if you give us a thumbs up. Makes us feel good. It's like applause silently. <laughs> so, and we appreciate that. Let's see, I want to make sure. No, I haven't missed anybody. Everybody's good. Oh, you know, for just a moment, I'd like to take this opportunity to make an announcement. I will repeat it later on for anybody else who comes in. But big news in the works around here. This is our last live sale on Tuesdays. <laughs> Vintage Conversation will be moving in June, starting next week on Thursday, June 3rd, I believe it is. We're going prime time. We will begin having our sales at 9 Central, 10 Eastern on Thursday nights. Prime time. I'm going prime time, y'all. I'm so excited. It's the big leads. <laughs> no, seriously, three o'clock is, is, was kind of the time that I fell into and it has gotten kind of difficult in the middle of the day to try to organize and, and get the sale going. It's, just works right into my wind down time, get ready for dinner with time with my husband, you know, and it's hard. It's, it's just hard. Okay. Three o'clock is a hard time, which I'm sure you all know. So hello, Misha Renee. Thank you for stopping by. Hey, Misha. Is it, I, Misha, is that someone, or is that someone, you know, um, D? It is. Oh, great. Misha is one of your lovely subscribers. I, I hope Misha will subscribe to my channel as well and give us a thumbs up. And I certainly appreciate you coming by today. All right, enough of my jabbering. <laughs> I have glass. I have, it's clear glass, but it's got a friend. This is a hand blown glass basket, of course, with a twisted glass applied handle it has the applied rosettes on either side. And as you can see, the there is a twist in the basket as well. And they have applied purple dots. And the dots are raised. They're not flat. They are raised. Has a little bit of a scalloped base to it. You can see it's pontal right there. It is fairly smooth. I'm not afraid to rub my fingers on it. For fear of being cut or anything. Hi, Grandma Sandy. Thank you for coming. I appreciate it. Grandma does a lot of beautiful decorating and she's got the most wonderful fairy gardens. And she does these great videos with about with the river where you just get to watch and listen to the river. And I love those. So anyway, a hand blown glass basket, fill it with your favorite MMs cheese balls, Cheetos, whatever floats your boat. $12 number 87 for the hand blown glass basket. $12 number 87. If you are so inclined. Thank you. Well, my next item is different than I ever I've ever sold seen sold on any of these live sales, but I had a good reason for it. And you know how it is. If you've got a good reason, that's all you need. No, I really thought, you know, it's almost always all ladies on here. And I realized that we've got Father's Day coming up. So in case any of you are still looking for a present for your father or for your husband, I had a little set that I put together that's all for the barbecue. Nothing vintage in here, ladies, nothing. Um, but maybe your husband doesn't like vintage mice. <laughs> you might consider getting him something he likes. So it is a set. There are five pieces. Three of them are all branded Jim Beam. So you have the tongs and the seasoning shaker. And there's another, okay. And then the little brush to put on your barbecue sauce with. Those are all branded Jim Beam. And then along with that, you get a set of barbecue badges. Oops, got it upside down. I always do that on my videos. My husband makes so much fun of me. Um, anyway, a set of the badges. And it, you know, they, they're typical. They say rare, medium rare. You put it on the meat after it's done. And then one of my personal favorite items, it's a scrubbing stone. So you 
to clean the grill with when you're done. And it's very oh. gross. So that set that is not vintage and it's not for us, it's for anybody that might want a barbecue is number three. And it is $8 for all those pieces. I'll go through them again. Girl, you can't buy that at the store like that for that. No, much. you can't. You absolutely can't. I, I, I bought one of these uh, for my husband, and it this piece in itself was like six dollars. So, you, you get to um, benefit from the fact that I like to go to garage sales and got it a lot cheaper. Anyway, <laughs> you get the badges, the tongs, the brush, the seasoning shaker, and the grill cleaner. All of those for, I already forgot what I said, $8 and it's number three. <laughs> oh, that's a good price. That's a very good price. I see we are joined by Butterfly Nurse Thrift. That's Miss Tony. Hello, hello. Out saving lives today, my dear. <laughs> okay, <clears throat> now I found this and I fell in love with it. So if you guys don't want it, you're not going to break my heart, I promise. <laughs> but I have searched and searched, and I cannot find this exact one. Now, I have it styled with, of course, succulents, because we all love succulents. It is the same, well, it's almost the same as the Hall Pottery's E-line. It's the Tomorrow line. They have one called uh, pine cones, which it is. It's pine cones and pine needles, but it's a little bit different uh, pattern than theirs. It is definitely vintage. It has some vintage crazing on it. Now, for Hall China, this is a gravy boat. That's what they call it. They call it a gravy boat. As you can see, one side is a little higher than the other, a little higher, a little higher back. So I'm assuming that's how you pour it. I see it as, like I said, succulents or a candy dish. And I don't think it's actually hall because of the um, where the ends meet up here. They're a little bit different on all the hall china that I've seen. But it's got the most beautiful pine cone graphics on it. Even on the back, there's a little one. I just think it's so, so pretty. And I thought, oh my goodness, it's gonna be lovely at Christmas because of the pine cones. So this candy dish planter gravy boat is $16. <laughs> And it's number 79, $16, number 79 for the porcelain <coughs> pine cone. That's, I've never seen anything like that. I would not have known it was a gravy boat. How did you know that? Uh, because I looked it up in the Hall China book and that's oh, okay. what they said they were. It I was shocked my darn self, okay? It looks with the Imagine great with it. gravy, yeah. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm sorry. It looks great with the succulents in it. I know. I thought so, too. All right. My next item is actually a set of two. <coughs> and these are hand-painted, extremely large mugs. So I'll only be able to show you one at a time. Um, the first one is has strawberries on it. So I think it's absolutely gorgeous for summertime. Wouldn't that look beautiful with flowers in it? Oh, yes. <coughs> And it is signed. This one, I know they're both the same maker. They have different signatures. This one is signed AD. I don't know who that was. Um, and 81. So I'm assuming it was done in 1981. I'm sorry. It still has the price sticker on it from wherever it was originally at. Um, I didn't take that off. I meant to. And then the handles are just very unique in their shape. And then the yeah, second they're not one, usually like that. Uh-uh. And they're not usually this big. The second one is grapes. Oh, cool. So they obviously go together, but they're not the same fruit. And this one is signed. Uh, so I guess AD is A. Dickinson. 
and it's signed. It was done in 1978. So whoever painted these, my grandmother used to do this. Whoever painted these was very good. Her detail is just amazing. Her shading is beautiful. Um, but she obviously painted them at two different times, yet they look like a perfect match, don't they? Mm-hmm. And they are very tall. They are seven inches tall, each one. Oh, wow. I know. So the set of two um, is $15 for the set of two, and it is number nine. So again, the first one has the strawberries on it. I love these strawberries. They just make me think summertime. Mm -hmm. And the seventh, second one has grapes. So they are $15 for both of them, and it's number nine. That's beautiful. You know, I, I have some ephemera magazines that are China something, and it's for home painting your China pieces. And there were clubs that did the, the decorating of the China. I did not know there were clubs. I just noticed mm -hmm. Precious Lavender Buttons picked those up. So thank that's you. That's Joanne. Jo good. That's easier to say because I was out struggling with Precious Lavender <laughs> Buttons. Thank you, Joanne. Yes, thank you, Joanne. I have a vintage Japan powder dish. I guess it's a powder dish. I mean, it could be a trinket jar, but it looks powder dishy to me. Colorful fans and florals on white. It is a nice porcelain lid, of course. No flea bites or anything along the edges. It's in great condition. It still has its Made in Japan sticker. Let me take the lid off so I don't drop it. So it has its Made in Japan sticker. Will look lovely on your bedside, on your counter, wherever you need to stick a little something, something. Um, any little thing you need to keep in there, heck, you can put your dentures in it at night. How very stunning would that be? So for this little Japan trinket box powder dish that is three inches by four inches, we're going to go $7, number 75. $7, number 75. And it does have beautiful gold highlights and accents all throughout the fans and the florals. I, I love trinket dishes. Uh, yeah, I yeah. I, you don't. You can I don't want nothing food. just. Yes, you don't want <laughs> nothing just sitting around. You want to put it in something. That's right. I mean, my husband can throw all of his keys on the counter, and I get upset. But if he throws all of them in a dish, I'm perfectly happy. <laughs> That's right. Well, I think I didn't do this on purpose, but I ended up going with the uh, hand painted strawberries again, and this is just a very small. Um, dish, and I guess you could call it a trinket dish. I actually, um, Martha, you have any idea what it originally might have been? It looks, oh, it's got the little handles. Oh, gosh, yeah. I don't know. Me neither. So we're going to it. could have been for lemons or something since it's got the little handles. That's true. We're going to call it a trinket dish, okay? I like that. We can do that. Uh, but anyway, it's another little hand painted piece. It. Uh, with strawberries again for the summertime. And yes, I had them upside down once again. That needs to be my trademark. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, he, it is $4 for this little trinket dish. And it is number 10. And I don't think I told you, but it's about five inches in diameter. So the little strawberry trinket dish is $4 and it's number 10. And Joanne, I didn't get a chance to say hello to you. Thank you for coming today. I appreciate it. Yeah, I, I like planners too. I usually have more than one planner, and I do. I have a Japan Lester Madonna oh planner. She's so peaceful. She's got, um, you know, I usually use my phone, and I'm much better at showing it on my phone. It's like I just can't get it right on the uh, 
laptop. She's got the gold details and she does have a beautiful luster. And as you can see, I've got a variety of little things in her. We'll take those out. So you can see her. You can see she has a beautiful sheen. She's in wonderful condition. I think she may have been used at some point as a planner, or this just could be, I guess, accumulated. Yeah, it looks more like it's just set on a counter for a long time. She does have crazing because she is old. Sorry, I have an invoice sticker on it, but you can see her Japan sticker there. She measures seven inches by four inches. And today she is $15, number 59, for the Madonna Luster Planter. She is a pearlescent luster. $15, number 59. I wish I looked as relaxed as she does. She's peaceful. <laughs> yes, very much so. All right. As I said, when we started this, I, since I didn't know all of you in the chat as well as Martha does, I kind of tried to pick a variety of items. So this is something else that's a little bit different, but I really think it's cute. It is a vintage log cabin syrup tin. Um, and it is from their 100th anniversary, which happened in 1987. So it's just got the little uh, kind of scenery with the snow in the log cabin and the little fireplace or, you know, burning inside and the curtains. Um, I have not opened it up, so I don't want, I don't know what it's not. It's definitely empty. That's all <laughs> I can tell you. I'm not going to open it up and see what it looks like in there. Uh, but anyway, the little log cabin syrup tin is about five inches long and about three inches wide and about four and a half inches tall. And it is five dollars and it's number 11. so for the log cabin syrup tin again it is five dollars and it's number 11. that's going to be great holiday decor man oh i didn't even think of that wouldn't that be great at christmas yes i didn't think christmas when i saw it at all that's oh, a yes. good idea you need to set a box and bottle brush trees around it and stuff and that would be so cute. in the woods <laughs> Okay, I have a larger piece for you. It is a mid-century piece. It is a California Originals leaf dish. This is in the mint green. It has a light speckle, and you can see the leaf veining inside of it. It is edged in gold, as well as the gold splatter all around the edges. It is a, like I said, a beautiful mint green color, and it is branded on the back, California Orig Originals, which this insizing is really hard to, to read. But it says um, C-A-L-I-F-O-R-I-G number 107 USA. So California Originals. These do come in about, I think it's about three colors, a turquoise, a pink, a gray, and then this minty color. So it's a nice, large ceramic piece, a uh, nice statement piece for your console, your coffee table. It measures four, about 14 inches, just under 14 inches, and nine inches. And I do believe that somewhere there are some matching leaf candle stick holders that can be collected and used with this piece as well. Like I said, it's got the beautiful gold splatter on it, I'll, which is a favorite of mine. I love gold splatter details. And it's even got the veining inside, which is surprising. Minimal wear on the bottom where it has set on the table. No cracks that I have found, um, no rough edges, no missing corners. 
Oh, it would be a beautiful bathroom vanity, Christine. You're right about that. And it is $15, number 66, for the California Originals pottery piece, the console dish. $15, number 66. Looks like precious lavender buttons. Pick oh, that up. Thank you, Joanne. All right. My next piece is a small Murano glass dish. Shall we go with trinket dish again? It has a sticker on it that says Murano style glass. Crystal clear, made in Italy. So if you're familiar with the history of Murano glass, um, Murano glass is made on the in an island in Italy named Murano. And it was actually moved to that island centuries ago because they were afraid of the fire burning the cities in Italy down. So they put it off on an, all the glass makers off on an island by themselves. I'm assuming, and this I don't know for sure, but since it says Murano style glass made in Italy, I think that means that it's still made in Italy, but it wasn't made on the island of Murano. That makes sense. That's what I think I understand. The bottom is smooth, uh, but a little bit cloudy. It's been, it's been sanded down. I have priced it accordingly though, because sadly, and I couldn't pass it up, it was too beautiful. But see how it has little these little points? Somebody broke one of the little points off. It just breaks my heart. Aww. Um, so I did try to price it very fairly at six dollars. And it is number six. I didn't even notice it was gone. No, I didn't notice it at first, too. I try to look things over very carefully because I have a bad habit of not doing that. But I And so I did find it, but I went ahead and picked it up anyway. It was just too pretty to leave behind and call trash just because one little piece was broken. Mm -hmm. you know? So for the Murano style glass, again, it's $6 and it's number six. Okay, now, Dee, I think you picked up some rust just the other day, didn't you? The rust, a rust berry item. Mm -hmm. And it was so funny I because I, I had done the same thing. And oh, then, really? Yes, it was. That's why it struck me. It's so funny. Mine are um, little vintage cow salt and pepper shakers. <gasps> Aren't they cute? They've even got bells. bells. Yeah, the jingle. <laughs> now. These little lovelies, and they are lovely. This one is up and ready to go back to the barn. Maybe she needs to be milked. I don't know. <laughs> she has a little something. I, I don't know. This it is just where they painted her. But over here, it looks like she's got a little something, something going on with her glaze. It's not very noticeable, but it is there. So I wanted to make mention of it. And this little guy is not having it. He is still laying down in the grass. He's not ready to go back to the barn. She's not, she doesn't enjoy the milking as much, I'm assuming. But look, she's got a little heart on her side right there. Isn't that funny? It's a heart. They have their stoppers and they have their rust stickers. Let me see, show it to you right side up. And you probably can't read it on this camera. I've got to get a camera attached to this. This uh, laptop. Yeah, you can read it fine. Can you? Okay. Yeah. So they've still got those, so they are definitely useful. Now their bells have seen a little bit, you know, better days, but who has it? So we're going to go $5 on the Russ Cow Salt and Pepper Shakers, number 62. $5, number 62 for the Russ Vintage cow, salt, and pepper shakers. All right. And I have another home co set that are in perfect condition. Um, these are dogs. 
Are they not the cutest? I think they're Labrador Retrievers. Are they not absolutely adorable? I like that one that's down on his paws. Right I know. Now. Look, he's got his butt up in the air. Yes. Oh, oh, my goodness. I just absolutely love them. They do both have their Homeco stickers on them. I thought Homeco always came in sets of three. I don't know why I thought that, but I did. So I assumed there was one missing, but I searched and did research in every site that I could find, and I can only find two. So maybe I was wrong. Maybe Homecomb doesn't always come in sets of three, because these are the only two I can find anywhere. But they both have just adorable expressions on their little face. They are $8, and they are number one. And the tallest one, which would be this one, because he's setting up, he's three and a half inches tall. So the little Homeco Labrador Retrievers for the set of two with the darling faces are $8 and they're number one. Dogs are so cute. I know. All righty. From the giant lot that I got is, and I try to do this each sale, is to have an elephant. Elephants from a thing. And this is a little elephant it is a gray and white shiny glaze with orange tusk. And he is made in Japan. And I think he is an African elephant. I was being instructed on the difference in elephants with the size of the ears. His ears look pretty big. And here is his little Japan stamp underneath his tummy. He's a little porcelain. He's about three inches by three inches. Wish I had something that held things so my fingers didn't get in the way because my fingers always get in the way. <coughs> <laughs> anyway, this little cutie, five dollars, number 70. With a Japan elephant with the gray and white shiny glaze. Five dollars, number 70. All right, and my next item is what I'm going to call a child's mug. It is Raggedy Ann and Andy, and the light is glaring on it a little bit. It looks like maybe some of the paint is missing, but it's not. All the paint is there and intact. Um, it is not, it does not have any markings on the bottom. Um, and I looked and looked and looked and did my research and I cannot find who made this. None of the others that are listed anywhere show a maker, but it's obviously an older style ran at Raggedy Ann and Andy mug. And I say it's a child mug just because it seems small to me. It's only three inches tall and across the top, the diameter is three inches. Um, but it is just a darling little Raggedy Ann and Andy mug. It is $5 and it is number 12. So T Tammy is uh, Vintage Uprising Texas, from, as you may remember, is our Raggedy Ann and Andy expert. She's, oh, she's well, got, maybe, I think she's she got knows. everything they ever made. <laughs> maybe she knows who made it too, though. She might. Anyway, he is $5 and he's number, or he, it is number, it's $5 and it's number 12. Okie dokie. I have a little set here. Now I have styled this splatterware Japan oil and vinegar set with the roosters as you know, like a little air plant vessel, that sort of thing. And it is kind of like a Savoy China with the splatterware on it. It's really, really pretty, but I don't think that's what you should do with it. <laughs> I think you should turn these into personal toothbrush holders in your bathroom. One on either side of your sink basin. Room enough for, you know, one or two if you need more than one toothbrush. But then that separates you and your husband's toothbrush. And you know you want to. You know that you want to. <laughs> uh, yeah. So anyway, I think you should do that with it. 
course, you can do whatever you want to with it. You can use it as an oil and vinegar cruet, even though they no longer have their stopper. But there is one thing that I would like to say about these types of China items that people don't use as readily as they used to. There is a gift that you can give your children and your grandchildren, and it is the gift of proper etiquette at the table. If you will teach them the proper usage of their cutlery and the different dishes that go into a table setting, I promise you it's going to give them great confidence and stand them in good stead. You may not entertain at home. That may not be your style. That may not be what you do. But you don't know what your kids are going to do. You may have a future senator or president or, you know, conglomerate <laughs> CEO, and they're going to go to functions that they're going to have to um, look like they know what they're doing when it comes time to eat. So give them the gift of proper etiquette at the table. Anyway, back to these. <laughs> these are Japan cruets. It just, th these made me think of it because many people don't use oil and vinegar cruets anymore. So I thought of that and I thought, you know, I'll just impart some of my grandma wisdom that they <laughs> need to hear. I couldn't agree with you more, though. So the cruets are $8 for the pair, number 91. $8, number 91 for the Japan oil and vinegar cruet set. And I hope it's okay if I add on to her um, soapbox a little bit and tell her she's right. Um, yeah. We really kind of focused on table manners at my home growing up, uh, but you know, you never know what you are and are not teaching your children. I always cut my children's spaghetti for them. That's just what I did. And my son was having his first girlfriend over for dinner and I served spaghetti. And I put the plate in front of him and I didn't want to cut it because I didn't want her to think he was childish. He sat there and looked at that plate of spaghetti and had no clue what to do. Oh, no. Because I had never taught him. <laughs> so teach your children how to eat food and what you can do. Please. So, yeah, I agree with Martha on that one, guys. <laughs> Sorry, couldn't help but add a little story. All right. So the next item are the most adorable set of left and figurines that I think I've ever seen. You've got a little girl sitting on a bench. And by the way, I have looked these over. There is not a chip or a crack on any of these little pieces that I can find. The little girl is sitting on the bench and she has a bluebird in her hands. I love bluebirds so much. And a tiny little bluebird beside her. She's wearing that pink little dress. And the little boy is laying on a log and he too has a little bluebird that he is smiling down at. They are just so cute. They have no purpose, like your oil and vinegar have a purpose. These have no purpose, <laughs> except to make you smile because they're both adorable. And they do. And they have their left and their oil left and stickers on the bottom. And for the pair, they are eight dollars for the pair, and they are number sixteen. Again, you've got the little boy with the red and white hat and the overalls and his bluebird in your right fingers getting away. And the little girl with the two bluebirds sitting on the bench, $8, number 16. That's a nice set. And Dee, did you see that Tammy Vintage Uprising Texas picked up number 12? I did. And I typed thank you to her, but I forgot okay. to say thank you. I um, didn't, so I didn't you, see Tammy. that. So. Thank you, Tammy. And Belinda Carroll picked up the left and set. So thank you, Belinda. Yay. And welcome, Christine, less than $10. Thank you for joining us today. We appreciate your stopping in. I have a little piece of jewelry for my Elvis lovers. Anybody like Elvis? I have a vintage... Graceland souvenir. It is a handmade wooden guitar from Graceland, and it is a replica of one of the 10 
acoustic guitars owned by Elvis Presley that is also on display at Graceland. Now it has the swing over clasp in the back. And as I said, it is wooden, it is handmade. This little guy has strings, folks. Look at the detail, that's amazing. This guitar is has it's got all of its little individual frets. It's got the keys, the tuning keys. I mean, it's got strings all the way up. It is a beautiful wooden pin. It has his well, it's not his signature, but it's a replica of his signature on it. It measures three and a half inches long by one and a half inches wide. And it comes in this beautiful collector's case that has a little wear on it, but the case has the wear on it so that the guitar does not. This handmade wooden Elvis pin is just ten dollars, number eighty nine. Ten dollars, number eighty nine, for the handmade wooden Elvis Presley guitar. <coughs> the detail on that thing was just amazing. I'm sorry, I interrupted you. I couldn't help myself. Oh, I know, no, no. The strings amaze me. <laughs> They're amazing. Let's see. And I see Rose. Do you see Rose first on that one too? I do see Rose first. Thank you, Rose. Thank you, Belinda. Appreciate it. Rose, I'll pack this up for you. Thank you. And before I forget, because I'm real bad about this, um, I know that most of you have probably purchased from Martha before, and a few of you have purchased from me before, <laughs> um, but I'm relatively new at that. So please don't forget um, if you've purchased anything from me today to um, send me your information on my uh, email. The email address is right there on the screen and I would definitely appreciate that. All right, so my next item, <laughs> it's cute and it has a purpose. It's a piggy bank and it is actually a pig piggy bank, but look at his eyes and his little face. Oh my goodness. And then the little bit of black glaze on those on those ears. He is made by Goebel in Germany. I doubt that you're gonna be able to see that, but maybe. Um, and I think that's upside down, I'm not sure. Let's try it that way, that might be better. But anyway, you can see he is marked Goebel, Germany. He, now you're not gonna to wanna to actually put your money in here, because he came with a key that I don't have. It was really well made, look at that. It's not a rubber stopper, it's an actual metal stopper that had a key. So he's, oh and look, curly tail and all. Is he not adorable? Sorry, anyway, he is number, he is $12 and he is number 21. He does not have any chips, he does not have any cracks, I don't even think he has any crazy, crazy. Which Look at I that snout. Look at that. I know. Oh, Look at that. Snout is great. And the little tiny tongue sticking out. So anyway, $12 <laughs> for number 21, the vintage Goble Piggy Piggy Bank. I like Goble stuff. They make some really cute things. They do, don't they? All right. And as they used to say all month, was it Monty Python? And now for something completely different. <laughs> I, think that's, I think that's who used to say that. Okay. It's not the styrofoam. It's the hat. Oh, my. Oh, it's, my. Isn't this, this is something, isn't it? This lovely vintage blue velvet hat with the pin rolls, pin tucks. They're kind of a roll, so. It's a light blue velvet. It has a blue ribbon detail in the front and all the way around, it has turquoise and white and they are a nice, fairly nice white. The uh, lighting is not going real good on them. Now this is a Vincent de Coven original. Ooh. It is, yeah, it's an ooh. Let me take it off and I'll show you what the interior looks like if I can. 
It has a lovely net lining inside. And there you can see his label. Vincent de Coven hats go all the way back to the 1940s through the 1960s. So you can't, it's hard to find a hat that matches exactly to say, you know, it's this style or that style. I personally would think this is probably about, let me get it straight on our head, probably about a 1960s hat because they tended to wear these, these buckety looking hats in the 1960s. So it's a fabulous hat. My head's too big or I'd model it for you. But she's gorgeous. Blue velvet and feathers. Vincent de Coville, $12, number 78. If you purchase this, I promise I will package it up very carefully and get it sent to you. $12, number 78 for the Vincent de Coville vintage ladies. Kind of a dressy hat with the velvet. And looks like Butterfly Nurse picked that up for you. Ah, you saw her before me. I uh, did. Joanne, Joanne collects hats, so, so she was a little, she missed it. Thank you, Tony. I appreciate that. I've been watching the series Halston, and uh, it's just a shame no one wears hats anymore. <laughs> I know. I would like hats and gloves. Thank you. Yeah. All right. My next item is I... When I first started shopping for eBay for resale, I had a mental list of things I just really wanted to find and I got excited when I found them and this is one of them. It is a salt and pepper set. It's a, it's a little camel and the salt and pepper hang off of the camel off of his pack. Is that not adorable? I have not seen the camel. I usually see cows and, and things. I know, right? The and camel the, is you know, unique. He is very unique and they don't have their stoppers. They are marked Japan somewhere on one of the salt. There you go. It's marked Japan there on the back of the salt shaker. I have looked it over very carefully, cannot find any chips or cracks. You can see that there's some wear, you know, just from being on the table or something on the bottom, but there's no chips or cracks anywhere the camel has a really cute expression on his face he's got his collar on with kind of a green glaze there and then these are the two little hangers where the salt and pepper shakers uh attach anyway he is for the set it is ten dollars and it is number seven. Oh, and just in case i forgot to tell you he is four and a half inches tall so for the camel with the salt and pepper shakers that are marked Japan, $10, number seven. He's adorable. Ah, and Christine at Side Street Market is picking that item up, Dee. Oh, thank you, Christine. Okay, so my personal last item of the day is a recent find. And y'all know I'm not good at this, so I'll do my best. Let me show you like this. I have a pair of Federal Glass Uranium Dessert Dishes. They are the, I don't know what you call these. To me, they look like, well, well when I was little, my mother would make, uh, had these, and she would make egg custard in them. So, <laughs> yeah, we always loved it when she would do the fancy glasses for our egg custard. They're sort of a cone-shaped with these uh, Art Deco panels. When light shines through them onto the ground, it makes beautiful reflections. They are in pretty good shape. They do have a little bit of a rough um, seam where they were made. It's not super bad, it's not super noticeable. This one I think maybe has a little bit of a mark there but gorgeous all the same. And we'll do the, the little thing now. And these bad boys, let me tell you, I don't know how we'll be able to see it. You can't. Yeah, I just, I can't 
I can't get uranium to show with my light set up. I'm going to have to have Christy walk me through a better light set up. But if you saw them on Instagram, then you'll know that they glow like a... Did you see uranium girls? Okay. They glowed like them girls' faces when they would uh, put the paint on. Darn, I hate when I that these won't work. Trust me. Bright, bright, slime green. Okay, just like green sign. It's that bright. It's just that bright. If any of y'all remember the green slime from back in the day, that's the color. Anyway, you get two, you get a pair for $14, and they're number 48 for two of the federal glass green uranium dessert dishes. $14, number 48. And my last item is a, why is it, is a Fenton Aqua, Aqua Crest fan vase. It doesn't have, it's small, it's only four and a half inches tall, but the Aqua Crest, I think is just very, very pretty. Um, I've had several of the Silver Crest items before, but I've never had the Aqua Crest before. And I just think it's a real pretty, there's no chips or cracks on it. Um, it's just in very good shape. And as I said, it's four and a half inches tall and it is $12 and it's number 14. So $12 for the Aqua Crest fan vase. That is beautiful. That's one of my favorite, that, that blue, that blue crested, that Aqua Crest. I, I love that. We love it. I do too. Okay, so since we have shown all of our items, we're going to do a little quick run through and let you guys see um, maybe something that you missed at the beginning of the sale. If you see anything you like or you have a question, just throw it in the chat and we'll be, um, we'll be with you. And you know what? Dan, I'm going to let you go first. Okay, do you want me to go through all of them? Sure, we've got time. We're good. Show okay. me everything that you didn't sell. Okay. Give me a run through. All right. The first item is an adorable little sachet girl. She is um, about four inches tall. She's signed on the bottom. Uh, she's made by Andre, Andre Richard, and she is made in Japan. She is $5. She's number 18. Okay. My next item was the blue glazed plant planter, the kitty cat planter. Ubu on chin, don't forget. He is eight dollars and he's number 20. Fabulous. And the next item is the fish sponge holder from the 1970s. He was $6 and he's number 17. He's a cutie. Mm -hmm. uh, sorry. Um, okay, what was next? Oh, the next item and I'm not gonna, well, I guess I can go through them real quickly. Was the barbecue set with the Badges, the tongs, the spreader, the seasoning. Those were Mark Jim Beam and the scrub brush. That whole set was $8 and it was number three. Hello, Brittany Blind by Beauty. Thank you for joining us. We're doing a recap so you can see what hasn't sold. And then the next item was the log cabin syrup tin, $5, and that was number 11. It's going to be great at Christmas. And then there was the strawberry trinket dish, hand-painted strawberries, $4, number 10.
And then there was the Murano style glass dish, $6, number six. Then there were the Homeco puppies, the laboratory, I think they're golden, golden retrievers is what I think they are. Um, the set of two was $8 and they were number one. The Goble, ah, the Goble Piggy Bank, $12, number 21. And the Fenton AquaQuest Fan Vase, $12, number 14. Ah, oh, that's so pretty. And that is it. Is that it? Okay. I'll show you a couple of things I got for you guys. We have a Susan Paley Nina spoon rest and she is $12 number 64. We have a piece of Mexican pottery and this is a new pottery for you guys to be seeing. This is the black pottery from Oaxaca and it is signed by the on the artist um, Donya Rosa and it is $16 number 82. Let's see. Okay. How about a LaDonna planter? She'll bring her card. She is a Lusterware Japan Madonna planter. Dee, have you got that? I do. Okay. Is that was it number 17? Uh let me let me look. I because Joanne would like it. Yeah. It is number 17, Joanne. I got it for you. Thank you. Thank you, Joanne. The uh, Lusterware Madonna planner is $15, and she's number 59. Let's see. What else can I show you that you might like? Um, the polar bear, the ceramic polar bear. Lovely, lovely glaze on that fellow. And he is $10, number 60. We have a hand-blown glass basket with the raised colored purple dots, braided handle. It is $12, number 87. And let's see. Tiki salt and pepper shakers. They are $8, number 71. And then the last thing is the gravy boat. It's a mid century piece, mid century gravy boat with the pine cone decor on it. I just love that. You can gravy it, you can candy it, or you can put your succulents in it. And it is $16, number 79. Miss Joanne, you would like the tiki salt and pepper shakers? I got you. Let me write Miss Joanne down on that real quick, guys, and then I'll show you the last thing. Okay. The last thing that you may not have seen were the Russ Vintage Cow Salt and Pepper Shakers with their bells. Black and white, guys. And they are $5, number 62. $5, number 62. And I think you saw, everybody has saw the uranium glass that is $14 for the pair. So, whoops, that I just set a little roughly down. 
Okay, let me get us back in here. Okay, so if anyone watching the replay of this um, video sees something that, um, can I see the item before the Mexican pottery and polar bear up close? The item before the Mexican pottery. Oh, darn, what was before the Mexican pottery? It was your first item, right? Your very first item. Was it this, Joanne? Was it the yeah. spoon rest? Let me see. Hold on, let me. Was it the spoon rest? It's the Sarah Paley. If this is not what it is, then as soon as you tell me no, then I will. She did say it's girl. Okay. Girl, yes. This is the Sarah Paley. You know, they make vases that match these two. This is the Nina. She's pink with green flowers and veins. Um, otherwise, girl is just the Mexican pottery. Okay. She's the Oaxacan Mexican pottery. It's black. Here is the polar bear. It's ceramic with a multi-glaze, browns and greens and cream colors. Okay. Her pottery or her spoon rest? Which one is it? <laughs> I am making it difficult, I feel sure. <laughs> I think it's the spoon rest, but I don't want to tell you that for sure. And then, of course, like I said, it's the polar bear. Okay, she said the... Paley, it's the spoon rest. All right. Gotcha. All right. Joanne. Okay. And then this is the ceramic polar bear. Polar bear is ten dollars, and the spoon rest is twelve. So he is ceramic. He does not have any markings. Sixty. Gotcha. You want the polar bear. I got you. Thank you, Joanne. Okay. There we go. <laughs> Did a what, Linda, with your fat fingers? Because I do that too. <laughs> All righty. As I was saying, you guys just... Um, let me know if you see anything in the videos. You can email um, D if you see anything that you think may not have been picked up. And D, something that you can do is you can put your items together that did not sell in a little group and take a picture and put them on Instagram. Oh, well, hi, Linda. <laughs> and then you, that will let people know what didn't, didn't sell. So you guys need to, to follow D on Instagram so that you can see when she's going to have things like this. Same for me, because I like to use Instagram as a preview option for sales and things like that. Great so, idea, I'll do that. Yeah. Um, and it, I, um, oh my gosh, I just, I just had a senior moment. It just went, I know what I wanna say, and I just, an announcement, thank you. <laughs> an announcement. This is the last day you will see me on Tuesdays at three for live sales. Starting next week, I will be moving to Thursday nights at nine central, 10 Eastern. So I hope all of you guys will be able to come and join then. Oh, hi, Sandra. I didn't see you. Thank you for coming. You don't have Instagram? Well, Maria, just, you know, like come back to the video and fast forward to at the end and you'll be able to see when we are highlighting things. And if the chat is not up yet, you can always see what hasn't sold and you can put a message in the chat and we can get back to you like that. 
So, and D, you can check back, or if I see something, I'll let you know as well. Okay, thanks. Sure. Um, you guys, make sure you're subscribed to D, and that if you purchase please. something from her today, I'm sorry. I just said please do. <laughs> And if you purchase something from her today, make sure you send her an email with your information, you know, your name, your address, so she can figure out your shipping and your PayPal email address if it's different than the email that you email her on. And um, if your name is different than what is shown in the chat that she may have not, you know, may not know to write down, give her all that information so that she can invoice you and get you all set up for shipping. And the same for me, please. Although I think I have most of you guys, you guys have been so kind to me and have, have been to my channel before. And I want to thank Dee so much for coming and joining us today. We are a, kind of a slow laid back little time right here, but we have a good time and I have a lot of good people that come by. So thank you for coming. <laughs> well, thank you so much for having me. I had fun. It's, it's fun. And I, yeah, um, it's, I feel like I'm meeting people, even though I don't actually get to meet them in person. I feel like I'm getting to know people and meeting them. And that's fun for me, too. That's good. Oh, and, and you learned about Instagram video calling today. I'm, and calling. I'm it to that. I had no clue. So now I can bother you and I don't even have to have your phone number. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't know you could do that. I'm gonna, that way I can always get a hold of my daughter. Oh, see, she's going to be so mad at me. I hate you. <laughs> Well, you guys, we thank you for, for stopping by today and for the purchases you made and for the fun chat. And we are always happy to see you and appreciate your company. So thank with, you. That, thank you so much. with that, we will say goodbye. And I hope to see you all again on Thursday of next week. And make sure you stop by Dee's channel, check out her videos and check out her eBay store. She has great things there, I know, because she's sent me some of them. <laughs> Bye, you guys. Thank you. Bye, everyone.